Welcome to the Porsche Race Car Classic. The passion that went into the development of these cars is the exact same passion that we are bringing to research to try to eradicate the number one cancer killer in the world, and that is lung cancer. It's time for a health quiz. What form of cancer causes the most deaths among women? If you said breast cancer, you're wrong. It's lung cancer. Then you may be surprised to know that lung cancer is the number one cancer killer in the United States, and not just smokers. I had two cousins who died from that. So what? We don't what have do diagnostic. We, do? we don't have funding. Do you think there's because the, the stigma that's attached? I know you it's want to address that. Yeah. 250 women are diagnosed with lung cancer every day, and most die within a year. We need to put aside the blame game and figure out what's going on. Historically, the survival for lung cancer has been less than 15%. We have treated these cancers in a sort of lumping them together with treatments that are broad and non-selective. Chemotherapies, even some forms of radiation and surgery, while they can be targeted to the specific area of the disease, they don't really get to the molecular underpinning of what drove the cancer in the first place and what is going to unfortunately probably lead to its recurrence. But I'm really excited to tell you that we are about to embark on a whole new era in cancer diagnosis and treatment and staging and that is finally the era of molecular medicine. Next week, we are unveiling a brand new approach to actively screen and sequence all of the important genes and driver mutations in almost all of our cancers that we have in our tissue bank. And by comparing it to the sequencing of the normal genes adjacent to that tumor, we can find out specifically out of thousands of genes which genes are the problems and how they work, and then we can make drugs that will target those specific problems and hopefully lead to effective, minimally toxic, permanently curable treatments for these diseases. But to run each sample costs anywhere from $500 to $1,000. If you can imagine what a donation of $1,000 or $50,000 would do, it would allow us to analyze upwards of 10 to 50 to 500 of our samples from the freezer. And those samples have the answers to cancer. So I can't tell you how exciting it is for me to be here and to thank you, all of the Porsche fans, all of the owners and drivers, the people who have driven cross country in their outlaws, the uh, Porsche family and uh, Porsche of Germany and Porsche cars of North America for your unbelievably uh, warm and embracing uh, commitment to our event this weekend. And in that also, uh, commitment to helping us find a cure for lung cancer. <laughs>